First, I want to tell you, step one is get the shittiest jack that you can find at Walmart. Put it on something because it only has, it can only extend like a foot. Quit fucking sliding. And then jack the shit out of it. That's still not high enough. And that's how you get it up off the ground. Not really. But anyway, this is OSHA approved too, just so you know. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm gonna show you how to grease the bearings in your Maverick. Um, the easiest way to do it is just go on Amazon and buy one of these tools. You just type in uh, Can-Am grease or uh, wheel bearings. And when you're searching wheel bearings, you're gonna definitely find one of these. I think I bought this on Amazon for $27, $28. This is the easiest way to do it if you don't wanna take your bearings out and replace them. Um, just to grease, that is. If um, I'll show you how to check if your bearings are bad or not. Um, another thing, all I got right now, and I don't know why I haven't bought a good one. I have two Duramaxes, and you know, Corvette, a freaking uh, side by side, but I have a twenty dollar jack from fucking Walmart. Imagine that. So, um, if you do, all you have is a twenty dollar jack. Get something to put the jack on a four by eight or you know a car stand like I'm using and put a ratchet strap um, on your suspension why it's sitting on the ground you know push down on it get the suspension to where it's uh, collapsed in on it put a ratchet strap on it so when you jack your side by side up you don't get the full extension of your shocks and your jack will actually bring the tire up off the ground so I'm gonna get this jacked up and then I'm gonna show you how to check if your wheel bearings are bad or not and then I'm going to show you how to grease them. All right, guys, we've got the side by side up off the ground. Easiest way to check if your wheel bearings are bad, grab the top and the bottom, and you just want to give it some play. See how there's play in mine right there? There's obviously something going bad. And it looks like uh, front bushing on my A arm is completely out. So that's going to have to be replaced. And then look for anything else moving. Looks like my wheel bearings are actually good. Um, another way to check this is actually down on the ground and you grab it here. And if you feel a clunk in this area, you have a wheel bearing out here. No wheel bearing out, but I have a hell of a bearing out in the swing arm. Let's see if I can show you guys here. There it is. out so that's going to have to be replaced or tightened up it might just be loose but the only bad thing is the whole damn bumper needs to come off to fix it so i'm going to show you how to fix this wheel bearing or not fix it but grease it first take a 19 millimeter socket zap your tires off here Now, once you get your tires off, guys, inspect the inside of your rims. What happens is a rock sometimes will get stuck up on your caliper and it'll start rubbing holes. You can see there's a groove right here in my tire that's starting to, one rock did get in there. Just make sure that it's not a really deep groove to a point that you're gonna need to replace your rim or at least carry a spare in case it does blow out. And then another good thing to check while you're in here is check your brakes. Um, mine are about halfway down right now. I have 2,400 miles, so I haven't been too hard on the brakes, actually. Um, I give these the way I've been riding, probably another 1,000 miles, and they're going to need to replace. So. Um, next thing to do, take your, uh, I believe this is uh, 15 millimeter. And 
take off the bolts going to your brake caliper. Lay those off to the and lay your caliper off to the side. Next, take a screwdriver. Now you got to be real careful on these. These are plastic here. So on the ends, they're held in by four little clips. There's four little clips on the end of here. Just be careful you don't uh, break those clips. And then you got to get your cotter key off again. Take your hammer. And I like to use uh, needle nose vice grips a lot. Bend these up. Maybe that'll work. And then what I do is I grab the bottom of the keyway and then hit it with a hammer. Now your next is going to be taking off the nut. The bad thing is these are stupid locking. Maybe. Take your 19, what am I using here? Inch and a quarter. Now again guys, buy good tools. Do not buy in a DeWalt impact. They're gutless pieces of shit. See what I mean? Gutless pieces of shit. Don't buy a DeWalt impact. Take off your washer, and then since your brake caliper's off, this will slide right off. Okay, now take your part that you bought on Amazon, shove that right in the hole until it seats all the way down. Take your grease gun, Lock it right onto the grease cert and start giving her a few pumps. I'll pump this about five times and you can feel it get a little bit harder. That's good enough there. I gave her about seven, eight pumps. Now this is the first time I've actually greased my wheel bearings. Um, when you want to do it is right when you get the machine. Um, a lot of people have complained that the wheel bearings in the Can-Am are dry, that they're not greasing them before they send them off for, from the factory. So what a lot of people are saying is actually grease these as soon as you get the machine, okay? Um, and then regular maintenance, you know, you probably want to grease these. Guys, I don't know, you'd have to check the manual, but I'd say about every thousand miles, you know, maybe once a year, once every two years. Really, once every two years, um, your bearings should probably have to re be replaced and it's a good time to take off your tires Check your your rim. Like I said check your brakes. I mean once a year you're gonna have to do that anyway, so just check your Check your bearings while you're at it Okay, slide that back on reverse process guys. You don't have to watch me do it. Um, I'm gonna actually See how loose this bolt is see if that's loose or if I actually lost a bearing I'm sure I lost a bearing so um, I just wanted to show you guys how to do that, show you this neat little tool that uh, you can get from Amazon. We got a lot of things going on with the Maverick. Um, I spent about $2,000 yesterday for pretty much a full cab, um, bent metal windshield, um, DMX performance uh, side windows, um, rugged, in, rugged radio uh, intercom system. So. We got a lot to put on. I also got a back rack that I, I'm pretty excited about. I, I need to be able, we're going, taking a long trip across three states to where I'm gonna need to be carrying fuel. So uh, I bought this luggage rack and we're gonna have to do uh, some welding on it and stuff like that to get it just the way we want. Excuse me, do uh, hold some fuel, but um, I'm gonna leave it with this guys. If you guys have any questions, if you have any comments, you know, how you guys do it different or whatnot, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can't screw this up. So you guys have a good one. Thanks.